Hello there. This is the second of two videos demonstrating how to use break-even analysis with location selection. This question corresponds to problem 8.19 in your text. In this example, we have a producer of machine tools that wants to move to a larger site and has identified two locations, Bonham and McKinney. Bonham has fixed costs of $800,000 per year plus variable costs of $14,000 per standard unit produced. McKinney has annual fixed costs of $920,000 and variable costs of $13,000 per unit. And the finished items will sell for $29,000 each. We have four requirements for this problem. The first will be to determine the output at which the locations have the same profit. The second will be to determine the range of output that Bonham would be superior to McKinney. Third, to determine the range that McKinney is superior. And fourth, to determine the relevance of the break-even points for these two cities. So in determining the volume where the outputs have the same profit, we're going to use break-even. And to do that, we basically set the cost equations of Bonham equal to McKinney. The cost equation for Bonham is 800,000 fixed costs plus $14,000 per unit, or X. The total cost for McKinney is 920,000 plus 13,000 X. Solving for X will give us 120 units. This now enables us to answer requirements B and C. If sales are expected to be less than 120 units, then Bonham is the ideal location. And if sales are to be over 120 units, then McKinney is ideal. The fourth requirement has us look at the relevance of break-even points for these cities. Well, what we can do is use a bit of an accounting trick to determine what the individual break-even points are for each of these locations. And to do that, we would take the fixed cost divided by what we call the unit contribution margin. And the unit contribution margin is equal to the unit selling price minus the unit variable costs. So if we look at Bonham, we have $800,000, and we're going to divide that by the selling price of $29,000 minus the variable cost of $14,000. That turns out to be about 54 units. That's rounded up. McKinney will take $900,000 and divide by $29,000 minus $13,000 for contribution margin, and that's 57 units. So since the crossover point is 120 units, at that point, both cities would be beyond their individual break-even points. So that's another example of how to use break-even with location selection.